everyone, Alina here from Exumate Mastery. What I'd like to talk about today is a flat roof. As you can see here, it is angled, but it's a flat plane with parapet walls and a scupper. One of my favorite words in the construction dictionary, scupper. Anyhow, we'll be discussing that today. I won't be discussing pricing, changing your price list as I thought. I still need version 28 in order to do that. So here in X1, we're just gonna discuss this flat roof with a parapet wall. I've actually been asked this several times to demonstrate it. So I know there's some of you out there looking forward to this. So let's go take a look at how to create this in Sketch. Alright, let me show you how we create this flat roof with the parapet walls and my friend the scupper. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Just going to lasso it. Lasso everything, hit the delete key. And lasso and delete the roof. Alright, so here we have the roof itself that's going to be laid down first. And I'm going to use a flat roof, which I've already chosen here. And you can see it's in ghost image here, so I'm going to left click once to place that flat roof on my window here. Now you can see I've got this arrow running upwards. That's going to be the direction of the slope. So think about that first before you start anything else. What direction is that slope going to be? And which way do we want it to flow? So we can use the orientation tool up here at the top. Grab that guy and hover near one of the edges where you'd like it to slope. The slope to start is what this arrow means. So it's sloping up or pointing up the slope, if you will. And that is how you can determine which way your orientation should run by using the orientation tool. So the arrow is going up the slope. I'm going to use this slope as an example here. Let's go ahead and resize our roof. It's going to be 45 by 30. Quite a large roof. Probably not a large loss, perhaps, but a large roof here. And we're going to make that there in our window. So next we're going to go to the properties and we're going to think about this, what we want our slope to be. So the properties, hand hovering over the piece of paper here. We're going to go to the slope rise every 12 inches. So the, the, the 612 is what I have here as a pitch. It's pretty, pretty intense. So for every foot that this runs, I want it to rise half an inch. Let's see if it'll let me do that. I can set it to zero. Let's go with one inch. It won't let me do the half inch because it's going to round up or down. So let's go ahead and look at that in 3D. And you'll see just a slight pitch there for every 12 inches or every foot, it runs an inch upward. So very slight pitch maybe even more pitch than we want uh, for some roofs, but you get the idea and the calculation with the explanation I just gave. So that's the rise over the run. How much does this roof rise for every foot that it runs? So that's your property there. Come to think of it for the observation and for the way that I'm gonna teach this, I am gonna turn it down to zero. So it'll be a truly flat roof so that you can see how this is going to work. So we're actually gonna work on a truly fat, flat surface for this example. I'm going to go grab a room up here, or you can tap R on your keyboard. And we're going to drop this room and try to match the corner of the exterior wall here to the corner of the roof there, because it does not overhang. It sits right on top of the roof just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn off my outline so I can see through to the roof below. And we're just going to drag and drop this guy right out over the roof as best we can. Sometimes it won't let you meet the edges exactly, but tonight looks like it is going to let me do that. And I'm gonna rename this room, if you will, parapet. The other thing that you can do is go and grab your walls and draw, if you just have walls on either side, then you just drop the wall tool on either side of this roof if the front and back were open and you just had parapets running across. You can do that as well. So let's uh, turn our outline back on over here and take a look at this in 3D. So it looks almost like a room, doesn't it? But it's actually a roof there we can apply materials to and we've got our parapet walls. Now to create that scupper, I'm going to use what's called the missing wall tool. If you'll notice my room is still set. Oops, I renamed my roof parapet. That's not gonna work. Sorry guys, there we go. Let's change that. Okay, now I feel better. The height of the walls right now is eight feet. So ceiling height, yes, it, they don't use wall height here, unfortunately, 
but ceiling height is eight feet. Uh, maybe you only have a three foot wall. That's fine and dandy, but if you're gonna use the missing wall, it won't let you drop it on a smaller than eight foot wall. Well, I take that back, smaller than six foot eight, because it's trying to set a six foot eight high missing wall, if that makes sense. So what I do is I add my missing walls here first before I lower these parapet walls. So I'm gonna do a one foot right there. Go to the missing wall properties and change the height and that's why it won't let you add it to a three foot high parapet because it wants to add a six foot eight opening here. So the height, we're gonna make it um, one foot six for our little scupper there. And I can take that scupper, I'm gonna zoom in here, and I can copy, control C, and I can paste, which loads it to my cursor. And by holding down the control key, I can post multiple scuppers in this wall right here. And it makes your job a lot easier when you can just hold down your control key and scupper away, just like that. Alrighty, so, oops, I undo, there we go. I lost a scupper there. So if we look at this in 3D, you can still see there's my scuppers, but the wall is still too tall. So then I would go into the properties of the room and change that to a three foot. So there we go, three foot ceiling height, and that'll drop the walls down, and as you can see, makes it more like what you'd see on the top of a commercial building with your parapet walls, scuppers, and flat roof material there. Remember that you can go ahead and go back to your roof if needed and edit the slope as uh, if you can. And um, remember that it does round up or down to the nearest inch, which will cause on a large span roof like this, it to rise quite uh, far or high over the trajectory of the roof. So just a reminder of how that works. It does round up or down to the nearest inch. So that can be a little tricky here but it works best if you have a truly flat roof. So that is how you create a roof with parapet walls and scuppers here in Xactimate. If you like this topic of commercial roofs, be sure to like this video. It's like gold here for me on YouTube and I really appreciate all your likes. Also helps me to know that you are interested in commercial roofing topics. Please be sure to subscribe below if you haven't already for our updates. I come out with a new video every Tuesday and post it here on this channel. My name is Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. I train contractors how to use Xactimate to make their business and lives easier and also go into supplementing insurance estimates as well to help you guys get your supplement life organized. Hope you guys have a great week in your business and I'll see you next Tuesday.